Hey everyone, today's video is about when you love him, but he doesn't love you back. Oh wait, does he? I don't know. So, let's find out. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. I just love me. Baga sat with a raised brow and his hands in his pockets. You love me? Is that what you're going to say? Yes, I love you, Katsuki. You openly confessed to your best friend with a tired voice. You and Baga have been friends since childhood. You grew up to love him as a friend, then a best friend. But now you wish to have him as a significant other. You've always been clear with feelings. Telling others. You like the blonde. Putting in a little extra effort to show some comfort and affection. Or even just canceling everything for him. But you never said anything specific until now. Your best friend continued to stare at you with a blank face. You were almost offended by it, but you saw the gears in his mind trying to move. He was trying to say something, but it's like something else was stopping him. Katsuki? I don't love you, Ion. Why you think I would is ridiculous. His words made you go shocked. He was lying now? You get it. This whole confession wasn't cute or anything similar to what you would do or what you would see in a cartoon. There was no blushing from either hands, no smiles. This was holding a dark element of her, but you hoped that despite all that, he would still be able to find the light you always brought with you, just for him. I know I love me too, Katsuki. He said calmly. Don't tell me how I feel. He responded in the same cold tone but with a little more harshness. I'm just saying the truth is the one thing you seem to be running from. I've accepted that. I've embraced it because I want it. I know you do too, so why can't you just admit it? You asked before a block of silence fell dialect. I know you told Kaminari you love me. That spark blog heard me wrong. He defended. You also told Kirishima you love me too. Yeah, I don't know. You tell Kirishima, he's a Kaminari. You tell everyone and anything but me. Why can't you just tell me? Bag looked at you in silence before squeezing his eyes shut in frustration. Frustration and anger with himself. Why couldn't he just man up and say it to you? Why couldn't he tell you? You were right here telling him how exactly you felt. Letting him know you felt the same way he did. So why wasn't he saying anything to help? You can't run. You have to stay and hear it out till the end. He began, making his eyes tremble. Bago Katsuki, I love you. I love you so much that it hurts when you just walk away from it. So tell me what I know. Tell me you love me back so that everything we went through, the gossip, the lies, the secrets, everything will have been for something so that we could end up right here where we are now with a purpose and a happy ending. Please. Finally, after collecting himself and coming up with an answer, he speaks. Maybe it was. He said with a softer tone, almost hurt. And maybe I did love you. But it doesn't matter. Why not? Because I didn't love you anymore. It was a crush. It was for a short period of time. I've moved on, so maybe you should too. He said and began to walk away. You know damn well things don't help you achieve anything. I don't want love or a relationship. I want to be a hero. That's all. There it is. He said it. He wants to be a hero. Only if he was smart enough to say the rest. He wants to be here to protect you. He wants to become strong enough to keep you safe in his arms. Let him achieve the dream first. So he can move on to his second dream. You. You will always be his dream. He knows he still loves you. And he knows he will forever and always love you. But he's accepted that he can be with you. Not yet. Let him secure everything first. Let him become a hero and make shit tons of money so he can provide for you and protect you. Let him become so damn sick or secure that he can give you the love he knows you deserve. Let him grow first so he can be good enough for you. Please. Which is why, after two years, Baga pulled you into the empty parking lot of the event and looked at you while saying nothing. What the hell was that, Bago? 
You shot at. That's not my name. He replied swiftly. I'm pretty sure it is. Why did it bring me out here? You asked. I saved you from that idiot and his pathetic excuse of a confession. You're welcome. He shot out. He got at him before slanting your eyes. I didn't need your help. You said calmly. Afterwards, a block of silence returned. And by good help, I feel like it was that one moment, all those years ago when he confessed to him. Growing tired of this, he attempted to walk back inside. If you'll excuse me, are you going to say to him? To Todd Ricky? Bagger asked, from behind you, now. He turned to him, shocked at the whimper in his voice, and noticed he wasn't even facing you. He had his back turned to you as he was looking to the ground. I don't think that concerns you. You sat and began to walk away until he felt Bagger hold you onto your arm. I think it does. He exclaimed. He turned to look at him. In shock, I noticed a fire in his eyes that he never saw before. You can't be his girlfriend, Bayan. You can't be his. You're in no position to tell me who I can and can't be with. You replied. I actually am because you're mine. He shot at. He looked at him with wide eyes and a shaky breath as he stared at him. What? Baga smiled his stick in nervousness and shaking as a sign of happiness. You're mine. I love you too. Why? Smack. The hell. Don't you dare say you love me, Baga. You said. What? He asked in shock. You had dear to tell me how you felt before I confessed and even after. But you can just tell me that you love me when I'm already happily moved on. You shot out. Moved on. He winced. You moved on? You didn't want him anymore? You didn't love him anymore? What? Why the hell would you move on? Are you serious? Why? Because I love you and give you my entire being just for you to stomp on my heart. You can't move on. Not when I love you too. Not when I've loved you for years. Not when I've loved you from even before you tell me. That's right. He exclaimed as he stepped closer. I've always loved you, my aunt. Always. So you can't move on. He stared at him and bit her cheek before turning it around. Too late. No. He whimpered. Without being in control, he ran to you and pulled you back before forcing a kiss onto your laps. Tobago. It was heaven. On earth. He tasted the exact way he always imagined. A duck up and sweet. Your laps were soft, so soft, so perfect, so you. You are heaven on earth, Rob. You were surprised and infuriated by his actions, so you, of course, pushed him off the best you could, but not without a fight. The more he pushed back, the tighter he held on. The more he pulled away, his laps would find yours again and steal your breath. Eventually... You ended up having to use a small amount of your quirk on him to keep him at bay. Why, I'm pleased. You can't be with him. Please. You have to love me. I've been working my ass up for years to not have you by my side, in the end. The hell are you talking about? You shot at. I did all of this for you, because I love you. I didn't tell you them, because I wasn't ready for you. You were too good for me. I had to change. I had to fix myself. And I did. I'm a hero now. I have money now. I can provide for you, love you, and take care of you now. I did this for us. He shot at as tears trickled down his cheeks as he confessed with a smile. He only looked at him as if it was crazy. It didn't matter if you were a hero or not, or had money or not. You didn't have to change for me. I loved you because of you, and I was ready to have you just the way you were at Baco. So please say you have me now. He begged. I can't. Yes, you can, Wyatt. I'm right here. I'm not running anymore. I'm not going anywhere. Just tell me that you love me too, and we can be together. Please. He exclaimed while you shook your head with small tears, pricking the corner of your eyes. It's so late now, Katsuki. At least in the end, you finally said his name. Wow, that was cool. 
Oke, okay, thank you guys for listening. Hope you have a good day. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye.